Hello and welcome to Orient Outreach. I'm your host, Stacey Calloway, and today I'm joined by two distinguished guests, Bob Watros and Charles Haskin of VFW334. How are you both doing today? Doing fantastic, and thank you so much for having us here today. Absolutely, and you guys have a very important event that's coming up this Saturday called Coffee with a Vet. Talk to me about that. Okay. Wait, Bob. Well, I think what it started with, like Chuck said, 10 years ago, uh, man or a sailor by the name of Joe Zeke which started it and he wanted to let young people know and talk to a real veteran and I think that's the way the memorial started was through Joe wanting to uh, get young people involved. Yeah. And how many people have you had in the past attend this event? Not a lot. We're it's kind of scarce but a lot of veterans come <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> because of the donuts you know but uh, well, that's a key thing to think about. This is coffee with the uh, veteran. At the event itself, we give away free coffee and we give away free donuts. So we have the regulars who come in just looking for a free cup of coffee. Right. But what we're looking for is to be able to share our experiences with the community. Because everything we do is based on, while well, the community supports us. This is one way we, we can give back to them. Uh, in the past, we've had kids groups come up there, and we talked to the kids groups. Yeah. And uh, but myself, I joined the VFW by being. I was in therapy. I just had my knee replaced. I had a World War II veteran, Ernie Baker, sitting next to me on another machine, and he says, "What are you doing this weekend?" And I said, "Nothing," because I'm walking around on crutches. And he says, "Come on down, coffee with the vet, and see us." So I did, and I enjoyed. And uh, I've been there for about the last eight years. So. And you invite veterans from all different branches of the oh, service. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And they don't have to be from Lake Orion. They can be from Oxford, Metamora, Clarkston, or whatever. Because we're called VFW Post 334 North Oakland, which means all North Oakland area we try to represent. And what would you say is the farthest someone has come out to attend this event? Mm -hmm. That, I guess it would be hard to say, uh, but I think we've had a few from Pontiac. Yeah, Pontiac, uh, Clarkston, Clarkston, area, yeah. up Lippier. In Rochester also. Yeah. Yeah. Rochester. Yeah. And you mentioned too that last year you guys weren't able to do this. Has the pandemic put a kind of a hold on holding the coffee with the vet? Well, it's kind of slowed down the whole attendance at the memorial. Even visitors that come you know, a lot of them come on a weekly or monthly basis, but they weren't even coming for that. Uh, but for the last two years, we could not have coffee with yeah. the veteran because yeah. of the pandemic. And this is a later, so, for, a little bit later for you to have it, right? Uh, to host no, it. we tried to do it yeah. in the first part of August, later part of August. Um, yeah. But we held off pulling everything together for it because we weren't sure we were going to have, be able to have a group now because I understand this past week, Oakland County is now putting the level yeah. up again with the COVID. Yeah. So we're, we're hoping for a good turnout. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot has to do with the weather. Okay. If so it's a nice sunny day, right. we have a lot of people come out and just people walking down the street, they'll stop in. Yeah. But if it gets rainy out there, you know, it takes down the walkers, takes a lot of the visitors and that. And uh, so, but we will be there no matter what. And rain or shine? It's rain, rain or shine. shine. Okay. Yeah. And so the uh, event is mainly held outdoors. And is it, it is outdoors. outdoors. It's outdoors. Yeah. We've okay. got a pretty good sized canopy there that we can probably get 20 people okay. comfortably underneath it. Uh, so if it rains, we can duck in, you okay. know, if we have to. All right. Yeah. And talk to us about what's the rundown for, for this particular day, August okay. 6th? Well, I think our big part of this program is uh, we got two World War II veterans that are VFW members. And they're gonna, one's gonna talk about growing up in the 1930s and 40s, and the other one's gonna tell a story about being in World War II. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. our chances of having these people many more years are not good, you know, because I think both of them are 97 years yep. old. Yeah, 97 okay. years old. But they're pretty good World War II veterans. <laughs> right, and it's, and it's about getting the story out. Yes, yeah, yeah, getting that story out, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and so then you also mentioned, I'm um, looking at the paper here, that you guys have post colors. Talk to me about that. Yeah, our post uh, honor guard will turn around and bring out the American and the POW flag and put it out. Then we'll lead the group in the Pledge of Allegiance. And once that's done, we'll turn around and introduce everybody that's going to be in the, in the ceremony that day. Um, we have one group that usually attends every year. Uh, it's a Model A car group. 
here in yep. Oakland County, and they bring their cars, park it across the street in the empty field, and they come on over and join us for a couple hours. And so that's always nice to see. Okay. And I, I see that on here. And then it, you mentioned, um, I'm looking at this, life during the 30s and 40s. So that's where you have two people who are going to be see, speaking about right. their experience? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and one is used to speaking, uh, uh, Don Steiner's his name, uh, lived in Clarkston, and he still goes back to the high school in Clarkston and tells his story. All these years yeah. later. Yeah. So and what he, does it mean for you getting people to come out and to hear those stories? Are you ever able to share some of your own stories? They don't let us talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We, if you get them talking, it's hard to butt in. Yeah. But uh, they're good stories, you know, and we've got about 2,000 bricks in the memorial. I guess I've heard 2,000 stories or more. They never end the same way, you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we listen, and I like to listen to them, and they feel good telling their story, so. And you are the, the park manager of the Orion um, Veterans Memorial, so how long does it take to put something like this together, even to get donations for the, the coffee and donuts? Well, I'm kind of out of my uh, expertise here doing this, and I inherited it from Joe Zeke, which I just tried to keep it going for him. Uh, uh, what, two weeks maybe? About, about two weeks of work. Yeah. Yeah, trying uh, to contact it. Uh, yeah. Our community, again, it supports us, so we have our Lake Orion or, uh, McDonald's. They help supply the coffee. Then our Oxford Myers uh, donates, donates the donuts. And uh, so between the two of them, we can give out everything free to the group. And not only having our speakers talk about their experiences, but when we get veterans come in, one thing's one veteran to another always talk about their experiences. Yeah. So we can share there. And if we can just get one additional member coming and walking off the street and let him know what we all do at the VFW. Uh, we don't have our own post. We okay. meet at the Lake Point Community Church. Okay. So people can't walk in the street and see any of our veterans. But um, through the event like this, they can see, because we're on street when we do our poppies in the month of May, we're everywhere. Okay. And uh, people wonder where we come from. And uh, we're BFW Post 334. So this is a way to kind of um, beef up or bump up um, membership? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So this event is taking place Saturday, August 6th from 9 to 3? About 9 to 3. Yeah. Yeah. In the afternoon, starting about 12 o'clock. One of the things the memorial does is collects old flags that need to be what we call retired. Um, we're working, trying to work with some youth groups, but out in the parking lot of the memorial, we'll be um, disposing of around 300 flags yeah, so. uh, for a couple hours there. So okay. that's a key thing we do for the community. And how do you dispose of them? We put them in a very, very hot fire. Okay. Well, they're all folded. Uh, and we have them on a table, and we have a man standing there that unfolds them and looks at them, and he gives us a nod that, yes, we tire the flag. Yep. And then we uh, put it in the fire, and we all stand and salute every flag. Yep, every flag. Well, it certainly sounds like something that's yep. going to be memorial memorialized. Um, do you guys have anything else that's upcoming aside from this event? You go ahead, Okay. Jim. Uh, on September 11th, once again, we always have a, at the memorial a celebration with the community on the remembrance of the New York's 9-11. Uh, in there, we have different keynote speakers come in, um, sometimes out-of-state guests come in, and just so we never forget what happened there. Yeah. Uh, also during that program, our post always sponsors a um, award to the local firemen, local policemen, and local EMT for or to be recognized for the work effort they have done in the last year also. So we use this opportunity to do that. Can you add to that? Well, and that uh, program is uh, emceed by Bob Smith, who was a fire chief here in Lake Orion for 30, well, I think he was fire chief seven years, but he mm -hmm. uh, was on the fire department 31 years. Mm -hmm. And he's a good person. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, we certainly appreciate you guys coming out and dressing in your, would you call it regalia? Our, this is basically our Honor Guard uniform. Honor Guard yeah. uniform. Which, which yeah. use when we go out in the community and uh, do, our, do our thing. All yeah. right. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Haskin and Mr. Watros. And that'll do it for this edition of Orient Outreach. I'm your host, Stacey Calloway. Thanks so much again for watching. And please come out to this event on August 6th, which is this Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.